US Open champion Andy Murray took to the stage at London's O2 Arena on Monday with a capacity crowd of 17,000 greeting the return of Britain's first male Grand Slam champion since 1936. Britain's number one got off to a nervous start in the opening match of the tournament, losing the first set to Thomas Burdick before finally turning the match around to win in three tight sets. Murray is yet to make it past the semi-finals at the O2, but expectations have never been higher in a year that has seen him break his Grand Slam duck and win Olympic gold, both of which have helped grow his fan base in London. He's worked so hard for so long over the years and uh, I knew it was going to come, but it was just a question of when. And I knew the US was his favourite tournament, so it was good that he won that. Yes, Murray! I've been watching him for a year. I'm English, but I've uh, lived in the States for a while as well, so I, w I was excited to see him finally win one. Uh, when he didn't win against Federer at the, you know, Wimbledon, it's quite disappointing, but at least he's, he's a Grand Slam champion now. Go Andy Murray! Murray mania has swept the nation following the world number three success over the summer, and Murray is aware the home support may well benefit him this week. Over the last few months, obviously, with the Olympics, uh, you know, the support, all of the, the events there was incredible. You know, the Wimbledon final, you know, for me as well was, was great. It's always been a fun place to play here. They get, you know, great crowds. It's always been uh, absolutely packed. Um, you know, they pretty much get sell out all the time and, yeah, the support always helps. With the London crowd behind him, Murray is looking to finish off his most impressive year to date by claiming the end-of-year title on home soil, something which his fans old and new will be hoping for too.